Once in a bygone era, within a quaint village in ancient Japan, resided a respected and sagacious Zen master known as Master Takeshi. Individuals from distant lands sought his counsel and enlightenment, drawn to his deep comprehension of life's enigmas. Takeshi was renowned for consistently offering resolutions to even the most intricate challenges that arose. One day, a youthful man named Haruki reached the village. Filled with a profound sense of unease, he yearned for solutions to the existential queries that troubled his thoughts. Having been informed of Takeshi's renowned wisdom, he resolved to seek his guidance. Haruki discovered the Zen master in deep meditation within his modest cottage, encircled by tranquil gardens. Taichi gently opened his eyes and warmly welcomed Haruki, sensing the inner conflict within the young man. Haruki confided in him about his pursuit of wisdom and his longing for tranquility and enlightenment. Takeshi listened attentively, his eyes brimming with empathy. Following a brief pause, he uttered, Haruki, I am here to lead you on the path to wisdom. However, there are three crucial lessons you need to grasp first. These entail the individuals with whom you should never divulge your innermost truths. Intrigue. Haruki requested Takeshi to provide more insight. The Zen master grinned and commenced his story. In a village close by resided a woodcutter named Kato. He had a reputation for being gossipy and excessively curious about the lives of others. No secret could remain hidden from him, as he would swiftly disseminate the information far and wide. Despite appearing harmless, Kaido was the last person one should confide in with their secrets. Haruki nodded in comprehension, realizing the risks of sharing confidential information with someone who lacked discretion. Takeshi proceeded with his narrative. Yuki, the village weaver, was introduced as the second character. Possessing a sharp intellect and eloquence, she had a knack for manipulating information to serve her own interests. Yuki skillfully wielded secrets as tools to assert control over others. Haruki, be cautious, as confiding in her may result in remorse rather than benefit. Haruki's eyes grew wide as he grasped the risks of sharing one's deepest thoughts with someone who might manipulate them. He anxiously anticipated the Zen master unveiling the third individual. Haruki, the third person, represents not just an individual but a mirror of yourself. It embodies your own mind, thoughts, and emotions. This reflection can serve as both a powerful ally and a challenging adversary. When confiding in yourself, ensure that the secrets shared are optimistic and inspiring. Avoid lingering on negative thoughts as they may impede your journey towards enlightenment. Haruki internalized Takeshi's advice with gratitude, committing to embracing the teachings of the Zen master. He pledged to develop a discerning mind that could distinguish trustworthy individuals and nourishing thoughts. As days passed and turned into weeks, then months, Haruki delved deep into the exploration of Zen philosophy. Under Takeshi's attentive guidance, he dedicated himself to meditation. Through this practice, he discovered how to quiet the chaos within his mind and embrace serenity in the now. Gradually, Haruki's inner turmoil subsided, giving way to a profound calmness and clarity of direction. It dawned on him that true enlightenment was not found in seeking external knowledge, but in mastering one's own being. Years went by, and Haruki evolved into a revered Zen master in his own merit. Travelers journeyed from far-off places to seek his wisdom, just as he once sought Takeshi's guidance years earlier. Haruki always remembered the three crucial teachings Takeshi had shared with him. He instructed his pupils to protect their secrets, understanding the risks of revealing them to the wrong individuals. He cautioned them about Kato, a gossip who could damage reputations with his careless talk. He advised against Yuki, a manipulator who could distort their words for her own benefit. And he stressed the importance of cultivating positive thoughts and emotions, as the mind holds great power in shaping one's reality. Haruki's wisdom reached far and wide, impacting numerous individuals in search of enlightenment. His reputation as a compassionate and insightful Zen master resonated across generations, emphasizing the significance of protecting one's secrets and nurturing a discerning mindset. As Haruki's renown expanded, 
The obstacles he encountered also increased. Individuals from diverse backgrounds sought his counsel, seeking comfort and direction for their personal paths. Haruki greeted each seeker warmly and calmly, prepared to impart the insights he had acquired through his own journey. One day, a distressed young lady named Mei came to Haruki. Her face carried the burden of sadness, and her eyes shimmered with a hint of desperation. She confided in the Zen master, revealing her innermost secrets and fears, relying on him to offer the guidance she was searching for. Haruki paid close attention, his kind eyes focused on Mai. He felt her vulnerability and recognized the significance of his role in supporting her during this difficult period. Yet memories of the lessons Taichi taught him about the three individuals one should never confide in lingered in his mind. With deep empathy, Haruki gently addressed Mai, saying, Beloved Mai, I sense the sorrow in your words and comprehend the burden you bear in your soul. Yet, before I offer my guidance, allow me to recount a story imparted to me by my mentor, Takeshi. Mi's eyes grew wide, intrigued by Haruki's words. She moved closer, eager to listen to the tale that meant so much to the Zen master. Haruki started. In ancient times, there lived a youth named Kenta. Similar to you, Mei, Kenta carried the heavy burden of his secrets. Yearning for solace, he approached a trusted friend and shared his deepest thoughts in hopes of finding comfort. Mei agreed with Kenta's challenges, fully aware of the repercussions of confiding in the wrong individual. Regrettably, Haruki added, Kenta's acquaintance proved to lack integrity. He breached Kenta's confidence by disclosing his secrets to boost his own reputation. This unexpected betrayal led to immense suffering and distress in Kenta's life as his confidential information was laid bare. Mei felt her heart drop, envisioning the betrayal Kenta must have experienced. She could almost sense his anguish as though it mirrored her own. Haruki tenderly rested a hand on Mei's shoulder, offering solace. Mei, dear one, let this story be a lesson that even those we rely on can yield to their vulnerabilities. It does not diminish your value or your insight, but underscores the significance of being selective in whom we trust. Mai pondered Haruki's words, acknowledging the wisdom they contained. She had been in a vulnerable state, seeking comfort and advice, but she now understood the importance of being cautious and selective about whom she confided in. Haruki reassured her, saying, Mai, I'm here to support you and offer guidance during this challenging period. However, I advise you to consider the three individuals take she warned me about carefully. Be discerning when sharing your innermost thoughts as not everyone is deserving of your trust. Rely on your instincts and confide in those who have demonstrated their loyalty, empathy, and integrity. May nodded, feeling grateful as Haruki's wisdom and guidance filled her heart. She realized that the path to healing and enlightenment demanded not just her own endeavors, but also the ability to seek out the appropriate support system. In the upcoming months, Haruki and Mai set off on a life-changing adventure side by side. Haruki imparted age-old wisdom, instructed Mai in the practice of meditation, and motivated her to delve into her deepest thoughts and feelings. Mai sought comfort in Haruki's counsel, and with unwavering resolve, she unearthed the power to mend and flourish. Years went by, and Mai emerged as a guiding light within her community. Understanding the value of judgment, she evolved into a reliable confidant for those seeking support. Just as Haruki had guided her, she now offered mentorship to others, enlightening them on the importance of discretion and the art of selecting trustworthy individuals to confide in with their innermost thoughts. The story of Mei and Haruki's life-changing adventure, influenced by Taichi's insights, stood as a testament to the strength of the human soul and the importance of wise judgment. It underscored the significance of being cautious about whom we confide in, even as we acknowledge that sharing our struggles can ease our burdens. By being selective in our trust, we open doors to deep healing, personal development, and newfound understanding.